the stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? Hello there everyone and welcome or welcome back if you are a returning viewer and friend. I am so glad that you are here watching today. I have a bathroom deep clean cleaning motivation video for you today and I am here to give you all the inspiration and motivation you need to tackle your to-do list. If that includes your bathroom, go grab all your supplies and clean alongside me with this video playing as you work or sit and soak up all the cleaning motivation you need to tackle your to-do list here in a little bit. As you saw, I just jumped right on in here. I started with my bathtub. It gets a film around it from the bath salts and body scrubs that I use, and it doesn't take long for it to get pretty grimy. I am using my trusty scrub wand filled with antibacterial Dawn dish soap and Sentiva disinfecting spray. It gets the coated grime and buildup right off with minimal effort. Today's video is also in collaboration with the sweet and charming Charmaine over at Charmaine Rosely. I want to thank her for inviting me to do this bathroom cleaning collaboration with her. Over on her channel, she does cooking, cleaning, organization, and motherhood. She stays busy as the wife and mother to two little boys and is a great friend but still finds time to encourage motivate and inspire the rest of us she is just a sweetheart and will give you all the motivation you need to get things done around your home so after my video i invite you to pop on over and check out her channel i will have all of her information linked in my description box below if you are here watching from Charmaine's channel, welcome and hello. Drop me a message below in the comments and let me know so that I can welcome you and say hi. For anyone that hasn't already hit that red subscribe bar, I would love for you to do that and join the family and community here at Uniquely Lisa. We have so much fun and I would love for you to be a part of it. to the regular cleaning and disinfecting that you expect to do in a bathroom I like to polish shine and dust everything on a regular basis just like I would in any other part of my home that's why I like to dust the blinds I dust any furniture I have and decorations as well as my cabinets just to keep everything clean if you didn't turn on your notification bell when you subscribed, be sure you do that because I have a viewer request coming up in a few videos. She requested a video of how to keep your bathroom clean on a daily basis so that it looks good all the time and I have that for y'all in the making. So be sure to keep an eye out on my channel so you don't miss all those tips and tricks that I have for you to keep your bathroom clean every day with minimal effort. shower has these three sides that are completely glass and while it does require a little extra care and attention to keep it clean and spot free it is not impossible 
The first step and easiest step is to use a squeegee after you shower and squeegee off the glass and also to take a towel and wipe down the glass and the handles and knobs. This helps prevent spotting and buildup of soap scum in the first place. I use Sprayway glass cleaner on the outside to just wipe it down like you would any other glass. You can also use cleaning vinegar. Once I do the outside, I move into the inside. I am using this Modere multi-surface cleaner and also cleaning vinegar in a spray bottle with some peppermint essential oils for fragrance. I'm going to spray down all the hardware to disinfect and sanitize as well as to help remove the hard water spots. Then I'm going to use my trusty dish wand with the antibacterial Dawn dish soap in it. I'm going to wet everything down and that is made easier by this handheld shower sprayer. Once everything is saturated and wet, you never want to scrub on a dry surface. Always make sure you're scrubbing on a wet surface so that you don't scratch anything. I'm going to gently scrub with my soap dish wand. we've scrubbed everything down in the shower then we give it a really thorough rinse to get all of the soap residue off. When I was cleaning the outside of the glass, I noticed that there was some hard water buildup starting to form on this seal at the bottom of the door. I want to be sure and stop that from building up anymore. It's easier to clean when there's just a little bit of it. So I'm taking the time to deep clean the groove where that hard water buildup had started to form. And if I don't look back, will you let me get away? If I turn my back and walk, will you stay? After everything is clean, I'm going to take a towel and dry the inside of the shower off. This same cleaning method works great whether you have one panel of glass or three like I have. It is also really good if you have a stall shower. You can use the same cleaning techniques even if you have a tub shower combination. You're running out of space. I got closer than you could. So why don't you stop pretend like this is Finally, after drying everything off, I will use my cleaning vinegar spray to give it a good polish and shine. Cleaning vinegar will get rid of any last spots and streaks and leave you with a nice clear glass pane. the vanity sink areas. We have a his and her side. I'm going to start today with my husband's. Scrub everything down. I'm going to clean the mirrors, put new towels out. My handy scrubbing wand with dish soap is perfect for the sinks. I'm going to polish everything when I'm done cleaning. I'm going to wipe down all the cabinets and the handles as well as the shutters here by the vanities.
never thought breakups were pretty You told a lie, I let you go Started the words that I completed But that was then, so long ago I told you then, like I say now, that we were golden Now you're not here, you brought us down, I told you so Oh how I wish I didn't care that we were okay That I could just erase, rewind, let it roll Meet me back here next year And I'll be fine by then We were on a high but now we're letting go And finding the way back is all I know All I know from now I'm thinking by myself I'm minding just my own So when we meet again I'm fine by then Did any of y'all ever feel like life is on repeat? <laughs> I feel like that when I clean this bathroom since the vanities do mirror each other and you know there's two of them to clean sometimes I just sit here and I'm like okay been here done this and doing it again let me know in the comments do you ever feel like that do you ever feel like you're cleaning the same things over and over again <laughs> I would love to hear from you so let me know I wish I didn't care if I was okay That I could just erase, rewind, let it roll But now I've been there and done that And now I'm fine by then We were on a high but now we're letting go And finding the way back is all I know Cleaning bathrooms is honestly my least favorite household chore, but it is the one that needs to be done probably most often besides the kitchen, just because there is a lot of germs in and around the bathroom. If you have raised panel doors like I do, you will want to be sure that when you are cleaning your bathroom, you wipe those down as well. Especially the door behind my vanity, it gets a lot of hairspray and hair product residue from where I spray. So I always try to give that a good thorough wiping and cleaning to keep them fresh and new looking. In the water closet area, I have already scrubbed and cleaned the toilet. I know that a lot of people do not like seeing that on film. I personally don't mind showing you, so let me know down in the comments. Do you like to see a toilet being cleaned or do you not like to see that? So I left it out of this one, but I have a previous bathroom clean where I show that. I will link those up above as well as down in the description below. They'll also be linked for you so that if you need more bathroom cleaning motivation, it is there for you. Since you stepped out of my life, oh, she ain't coming back. I prefer to vacuum versus sweep, especially in my bathroom. I shed a lot of hair and sweeping does not often get all of that up. So I use my vacuum. This way I can also use the wand feature, go around the baseboards, up under the kick plate, and make sure that it's nice and picked up and cleaned. But deep down I know it, it won't 
Today I will be using my Swiffer to mop the floor. We're going to get that done and then I'm going to show you my DIY bath tray. So make sure you stick around. Don't click off the video yet because you'll want to see this cute little tray. And you believed in all the rumors, yeah, I told you I was playing. I hauled this tray from Target and I will link that video up above. I found it in the dollar spot. So the wood tray came like this. It was very smooth so I didn't sand it. My husband is helping me drill the holes so that I can film for you guys. After the holes are drilled, I am using this acrylic white paint. I wanted the tray to blend in and kind of vanish with my white bathtub and that's why I chose white. I put on three coats of white paint and then I also sealed it with a varnish since it was going to be in a high moisture area and it took two coats of that. My life is a boy. I just try my best, gotta live it. But I'm nothing like before We used to be strong Together we couldn't do wrong I already had the paint and varnish from a previous project in my craft closet So the tray cost me $5 and the handles were $4 each That brought this project to a total of $13 Compared to the $69.99 inspiration piece I would say that was a great bargain and a DIY on a dime I picked up these really nice gold tone drawer pulls at Hobby Lobby they were $7.99 but I waited until they were 50% off so I got them for $4 each. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey you, what you gonna do? Feeling a weekend kind of mood. Don't even try staying at home. I know you're a bad girl trying to be good Looking so hot, looking so fine Baby, for tonight I want you to be mine We're going for a ride Oh, we're going for a ride Once again, thank you Charmaine for this bathroom cleaning collaboration It has been so much fun Don't forget to head over to her channel and watch her bathroom cleaning video when you are done here You will love it I can guarantee it already that you will just adore Charmaine as much as I do Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and drop me a comment below I really do love talking to you and getting to know you all better in the comments. If you haven't already, I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar, ring your bell, setting your notifications to all. That ensures that you never miss a future upload from me. Don't forget to come back for my viewer request video that will be coming up soon. And if you have a request of something you would like to see me clean or answer your cleaning questions, let me know here or over on Instagram. You can find me at uniquelylisa2. That's Lisa with an E and the number two. If I am able to do it, I am always happy to film what you want to see. I thank you all so much for being here. There are so many choices of videos for you to watch on YouTube, and I feel honored and blessed that you chose mine. Without you, this channel would be nothing, and I am so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. I want you by my side